girl. Got another video for you today. Um, I'm gonna do something that I haven't filmed before. I do it a fair amount, but I don't know. I've just never videoed it. And that is wood turning. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do some wood turning. I've got a walnut blank here. I like walnut. It's one of my uh, favorite timbers. Don't know why. It goes just a nice color. So I've just planed a little bit off the top. I don't know if you can see that. And um, just so I can see what colour it'd go. And the best way to do that is just get some meths. Keep up here. Just get some uh, meths. It's in a different bowl. It's in a glass cleaner's bowl. But it is just meths. And just spray it on. Uh, give it a little rub. And that's the colour it should go when it's all sanded and nice. It should go that and oiled. It should go that colour. So I think that's the colour I want to go for today. So hopefully we can turn this into a nice bowl. I'm going to go with a bowl. Yep, just a shallow one because it's not very thick. Um, so yeah, just a shallow one. And I might even use some milliput. I've been wanting to use milliput for a while. Um, I've seen people on YouTube do it. I've never done it myself. So... There's a first for everything, so hopefully it will go okay. So let's get to it. I'm going to start off by putting the face plate on. Um, mark the centre. I don't have a centre finder, so I'm going to do it old school and just measure. And roughly, roughly that's the centre. Yep. So that's the face plate on and that means it's ready to mount onto the lathe. Okay, and now we're ready to turn it. It's mounted on the lathe and it's ready to go. Now, I'm going to be wearing this piece of kit. Um, basically what it does, it stops um, the dust going inside me and it blows air from this battery pack all the way down and uh, in, inside so I can still breathe and keeps the dust off my face. Um, it does make a bit of a noise, so if there's a slight hum, it's this. Um, so yeah, just putting that out there so you're not, oh, what's that hum in the background? Well, it's just this batch pack working, and I'd rather have it on than not on. So it's also a uh, visor and fully protective for my face, so if anything flies off, it's going to hit that and not do anything to me, hopefully. So yeah.
Right, so as you can see, I've got it sanded up really nice. Happy with how that's come out. This Yorkshire Grit. The Yorkshire Grit, and I've got the Microfine, works so well. It like had scratches and before I put that on. And then I put loads on, buffed it off, and now there's no scratch in sight. Really happy with how it's come out. However, I was going to put the milliput in the rim of the bowl, like on the top, um, but I think it would actually look better here, close to the top on the side. So, um, I think I'm going to put that in. So despite all that sanding, I'm actually going to now put some grooves in and put the milliput in. So, let's see how that goes. But really happy with how it's coming out so far. Okay, so I've now got it ready for taking off and I'm going to fill these grooves with white milliput and then when that's hardened I'm going to take out that middle stripe and fill that with a different colour. I'm not too sure on what colour yet but um, yeah, so let's get that done. So I'm ready, I've got the milliput here, never used this before. So hopefully it will go okay. No idea how much to mix for that. Um, I'm going to wear gloves. Just because it fit being white, I don't want any dirt in it. Okay, so it states on the box that it's got to be seven minutes. So I'm going to set this for seven minutes. Start. Let's get mixing. Wow, yay. Never knew seven minutes was so long. Right, now to put it into here. I think the best way might be to um, maybe just roll it. Right, and there we have it. I've filled those two grooves with the white. I'm not too sure how this will come out because it seems as even though I had gloves on and tried to keep everything really clean, it just seemed to pick bits up. And I guess that's just because it's uh, really white. So it's just showing it more. But hopefully that them bits are just from me like pushing it in and the bit underneath will be, um, hopefully it'll be like really nice and white. Um, I guess it's trial and error, it's the first time using this stuff, so, yeah. So now what we have to do is I have to leave it three... Uh, milliput becomes rock hard in three to four hours at normal room temperature. So if I leave it here for three hours, it then should be hard enough for me to just, um cut into there, into there, and then fill that bit.
Right, and I'll have to leave that for another three to four hours. some jaw chucks and that means I'm now ready to start hollowing out the bowl and um, yeah getting this bowl finished. I may stop and put some more milliput in the inside. Um, it's quite a lengthy process just because you have to wait four hours and then if you're doing two colours um, you have them to wait like eight hours for it to dry which is like a day. Um, so I'm still thinking whether I'm going to do that or not. Uh, but yeah, let's crack on and hollow out this bowl. finished I'm really happy with how this has come out um, I think the milliput is come out fantastic um, don't know if you can see it's almost like wood grain within the milliput and I added this bit just to tie in with the outside and the walnuts come up really nice and I added in my little logo in the bottom 
and just a little bit of detailing so um it looks it looks a bit better than a open hole um I, i'm gonna put this finish on it this is called timbertect and it's a worktop seal and it's food safe so i'm gonna put that on this and then i'll probably buff it on the lathe with um some wax um but it won't come up too much shinier than it already is because that yorkshire grit is so good if you're um starting wood turning i definitely definitely advise you to get some yorkshire grit but yeah there was a lot of sanding on this bowl um felt like i sanded and sanded and sanded forever but it was worth it in the end because it's come out really nice So, um, I'm Country Wood Girl and thanks for watching. Uh, if you could comment what you liked, what you didn't like, if you could like the video and if you wanted you could subscribe to me because I'm trying to bring out videos more and more often than I am and I'm going to mix it up completely in what I'm doing so uh, yeah, so this was my first wood turning video, please give me a big thumbs up.